And here we are getting into the knife round between Brutalis and Isuba. Isuba did beat uh, Vega Squadron yesterday. So I am definitely going to favor them in this matchup over Brutalis. I have not seen Brutalis play, so I have no idea what to expect from them. But I do know that Isuba does have some pretty solid fraggers. Daxon, or Daxon included. There, I finally said it right. Daxon! <laughs> Gave me... I butchered his name all day yesterday. So, finally got it right. Hanky G also had some pretty good plays yesterday. Shocky, Zedco, of course. <laughs> and it will be E Super to start on the CT side. It looks to be a B rush. The last time they played retake, it was a really clean one versus Vega. We'll see what they can do here. Taps are not connecting for Shockies, but the rotations are going to come through. He spotted about five cross. And now as the bomb goes down, the rotations are coming in. The first frag, however, goes the way of Coley Brian. Brian. One of those two. Coley Brian. I'm going to go with Coley Brian. Taps are coming through. Shockies gets taken down as Daxon finds another. But it is Hanky G. He is a solid fragger. But he does have to contend with somebody behind him as well. Jumps through, running in. He does not have a lot of time. He's grabbed the kit, but there is no time for him to defuse the bomb. He finds one, but that is all he'll be able to find. And it will be Brutalis winning the pistol round with the bomb pine as well. But on the bright side, there is that kit saved for Yusuba. Let's see if they decide to force. Hanky will pick up a P250 as he does already have the armor and he does have a defuse kit. That'll be all that is purchased for the Czech Slovakian mix. The push is out ramp. Remory Remoe leading the charge with the Mac 10. He finds one. Alex finds another. Alexofen. Alexom fan? I was going to call him Alex. Ooh, nice taps by Shockies as he finds Barry. And Hanky will get taken down. Mac 10 to unarmored head will destroy him. It looks like it will be another round for Brutalis. And Shockey's not able to recreate those USP taps onto Colibrian. But now the guns are up for Isuba. And if this is anything like their CT side of was Cash yesterday. It might take them a little while to get going, but once they do, Isuba is a very solid CT sided team. They're good on CT side cash as well. Hoping to see something similar today on Mirage. First kill, though, goes the way of Brutal as Alex finds one. Rotation coming in early from Daxon. Spray comes through as well. And Barry's pushing close to the Mac 10. Coley Brian, he's found another. Fragged is low as well. This is looking like it will be another site take for the Danish squad. Daxon not finding anyone on the peak. As Alex will fall back. He crosses through and the spray will finally connect as it's actually Zedko to find the final frag. Or the final damage. Three versus three. Fragged still low. Two players towards connector as well. Solid post plants for Brutalis. Zedko, he starts it off well. Zedko finds another. And now it's left to Rawls. Frag falls as well. Dax in the last alive. He does not have a kit. He's on the bomb. He gets tagged low. And he will be felled as well in the end. Zedko trying to scrape Isuba across the line. It was not enough. Rawls able to win that one versus three. 
But there were some positives to take out of that for Isub. They'll be on a deco now. On the following gun round will be a little bit of redemption. Full AKs for the Danes as they get top mid control. Four players busting out. Flash is coming over. They are going to dodge it. Fragged and Daxon going to go up towards Catwalk. But nothing really doing for Isuba as of yet. They did have some nice deagle plays yesterday. Let's see if they can recreate that. Taps coming in. Shock is will take a little bit of damage and will get warded off for now. Zedko has a nice angle if he swings a little bit to the left. And it will be Barry to find the first frag. Daxon will fall. Shock is taken down low as well. 7 HP remaining. As still mid control being held by Brutalis. They haven't made a move, which is a bit interesting. They have plenty of time and plenty of space. A nice one deed from Shock is will only yield one. He was low HP. Fried getting pushed back as well. Rawls is holding Khan. And the Deagle spam through the box will not do more than about 40 damage. Hanky G. What a one dig onto Alex. They can hit some more shots like that. This could be very doable, but Coley Bryan will find one onto Hanky G. Rawls will be able to get another. And Zedko will fall as well. Rawls able to find two frags again from Khan. It will be a fast four rounds for Brutalis. Fragged has his op. Zedko, let's see what he buys. It will be M4 with utility. Versus the full AKs of Brutalis. Doesn't seem like this team is partial to buying the op. Interesting decision as far as I'm concerned. It will be fragged to solo B with the op. The smoke comes through. I believe he saw the nade. A lot of utility being thrown. And it's a team kill, actually, as Frag will be able to find one. It's a four versus two now for Isu. They're going to capitalize on that TK. And the bomb is still in middle as well. It's going up Cat. The rotations are going towards B. There's three members of Isu there to defend. And Brutalis. That's brutal to kill your teammate. Especially in such a critical position. And now the bomb's working up connector. Barry's walking his way up closely, clearing all his angles. He still has a lot of time to play with. But this could be very dangerous, especially if they overlook Hanky G. He has Ticket. He has a nice angle. And they're going to Molly Palace. Not the right angle to Molotov. Oops, wrong number. The spray will not connect. But the bomb will go down nonetheless. Hanky G is dropped. Three versus two now. Alex took quite a bit of damage. And now he's able to escape a little bit more. The gun barrel spotted. The shot does not connect. And Shockies, though, is there. Barry has to play from ramp. The tap has gone in. There's only one kit. It's on Shockies, and it will be Zedko to find the final frag. Isub, I do believe they have enough time. Shockies has the kit, and they will have the defuse. They pick up their first round here on CT side Mirage, and it looked like it could have been a lot cleaner. But in the end, a round's a round. They only lost two players, and Isuba have found themselves on the board. Full AKs yet again for Brutali says they take the bomb over towards B early on. A lot, all five players over towards this area as Barry is still back C. Shockey's playing anti-flash mid as Coley Bryan going a little aggressive. Now the utility is being thrown. The push is coming out. Daxon with the Molotov will do a quite a bit of damage. He actually gets the Molotov kill onto Coley, Bri Coley Bryan. Another one. Another Molotov kill for Daxon. He's got two on the flames. 
This play up cat though by Barry. This could yield a couple kills. Indeed, it'll find Shockies as Alex finds Fragged on site as well. But now they know where both of the remaining players are. Another shot from Barry will find another frag. Hanky G trades him out. And now it is a one versus two. Alex has to come up huge for Brutalis. But the bomb is down in the favor of Isupa. That nade's going to do a lot of damage as well. Brings him down to 44 HP. And Hanky G and Dax and two very capable players have him in their sights. He spots the legs at Dax in four kills. Two of them with the Molotov. Isuba have now gotten their second in a row. And put Brutalis in quite an awkward situation money-wise as well. They will buy up. Full force buy, except for Remoli. Actually, no, he will buy to the 100 as well. Galil, AK. Not for a second, Coley Bryan was going aggro, but Alex is going to take a bit of damage from that nade. He's down to 67 HP. There's an MP9 purchased up as well. There's two players without head armor. So that could do quite a bit of damage. Shockies. Let's see what he can do with it. So the push is starting to come through. One frag will not go his way as Alex has the AK and he wins that duel. Zedko, I believe he made a little bit of noise, but that player close ticket has been dropped. The AK has been picked up by Remoe, but Daxon has the angle and he's found the head. He's getting pushed con though. He doesn't have his gun out and Rawls will find that frag. He takes advantage of Daxon playing for utility, playing to help his team. And he finds that frag. The gun barrel spotted by Coley Bryan. And he will take down frag. The op is out of play. Hanky G and Zedco. But Hanky G is holding it. He's sticking it. He has the defuse. No! How many tenths of a second was he away from defusing the bomb? That was so close. I thought he had it. I legitimately thought he had the defuse. And instead of Brutalis being on another awkward economy situation, it is Isuba who have to save. They've won two in a row and still they're stuck on the eco. Oh, I thought for sure Hanky had that one though. Ooh. I wish I could see what the time was left on that. And speaking of Hanky, he will get deleted by Remoli. And it will be Zedco last alive. USP in hand. Most likely just going to try and not die, not give 300 bucks over to Brutalis. As they've started off with a really strong T side. Six rounds, two. And a good chunk of those came off the back of the pistol. Four rounds in a row for Brutalis. Off pistol round. But Isuba with... Uh, Actually, their money's not going to be too great. I don't know if Fragged will be able to actually get an op into the next round. It'll be interesting to see how they want to play the economy game. Bomb will go off. Zedco will stay alive. And Alex sitting at 11-6, and six, about... Eight rounds into the game, so pretty solid performance from Alex and Brutalis early on. FAMAS, M4s, and a MP9 for Isuba. I was right about the money being quite shaky. The Molotov will go out as well. The bomb is back to spawn for Brutalis as they seem to be defaulting out. Two towards mid, one palace, one ramp, one B. Very standard default on Mirage. But Zedko, he's gone underpass. And he might just be faced with Coley Bryan. That flash gives away the position of the Danish player. The Molotov will force him out as well. As Hanky G finds one over towards the A site. Good start for Isuba. Alex, I believe he's heard Zedko rush up towards A. The bomb can be easily recovered, but it seems that they are going to elect to keep going for A as Coley Bryan's walked his way up underpass. Ramoe and Palace down to 19 HP. A well-placed nade would finish him off. But there is a very light amount of utility left for the Czechoslovakian or Czech and Slovakian squad. 
LX, I think he got spotted by Shockies, indeed he will. Shockies taking a little bit of fire damage, will escape, only taking three damage, and he finds another one as well. Fragged found Remoe, and Rawls last alive, he's had some clutches so far today. Can you find another one? He's found one onto Hanky. Three more to find, and it will be Shockies to finish him off. Isuba strike back, they salvage Nop as well, that'll be tossed over to Frag. And they've picked up their third round in this first half on Mirage. Actually, it's Zedko to be to give him the op, as I think he's going to go for an apps pick based off spawn. Molotov goes out, and he's going to get boosted up. The Molotov, though, will force him off the balcony, and that plan for Isuba will go awry. But it's not going to have yielded much anyways. The bomb is over towards A. Three players, four Brutalis as well, positioned over towards the A-bomb site. As now they look to get themselves a bomb plant. Fragged, he's found one on the M4. Shockies has found another. Three versus five. Shockies is a bit low. And Coley Bryan, he's found one more. Barry finds another. It's even at three versus three now. The man advantage is gone for Isuba. One shot from Zedko, one kill for Zedko. Two shots for Zedko, two kills. And now Rawls walking into the crosshair of Zedko. We'll get legged. The nade will finish him off indeed. And it will be a triple for Zedko. The veteran on the lineup, I would say. He comes up huge. And it will be a fourth on the board for Isuba. And Eco coming out from Brutalis if they elect to play it smart. Let's see how they decide to buy. Did it will be Glocks. Wait. Did I just... I am utterly aghast right now at the buy by Remoi. He's bought a Negev. He's just going to spam it mid. Uh, I'm at a loss for words right now as to what in the world that was. It does nothing but 25 damage. Three players found. Four, uh, four soon to follow. Yes. Alex is at one HP. Coley Bryan gets dropped, and Alex with a knife out will fall as well. Isuba one round away from tying this up. They are at 6-5 to five now. And the money on Brutalis is really weird yet again, because Remoe bought a Negev. I still have no idea what that was. Isuba, I appreciate the host. Thank you very much. Glad you guys are enjoying my casts as well. It's a standard default here from Brutal. It's not a standard default, more like a fake A default, I would say. And indeed, that does seem to be the case. The bomb getting picked up T-Apps, and the sacrificial lamb has fallen. Alex unable to get a kill. And now players are being spotted. Daxon with one. Can he find another? Indeed, he will. A nice headshot onto Barry. Falls up. Another one onto Rawls. And now it's Coley Bryan coming up. Cat, the last alive for Brutalis. Dax Daxon absolutely brutalizes the players on Brutalis, but that's a nice kill by Coley Bryan to pick up an op. But... I honestly don't know why he picks it up instead of staying on the AK. It's more multi-frag potential, especially in a 1 versus 4 situation on T's side. Although I'm not the player in advanced, he is. So I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt there. But that was a great couple of shots there by Daxon. Back indeed, that was good pre-aim, good crosshair placement. Beautiful counter-strike there. Coley Bryan still alive with that op, and he will get peaked by Shockies. He will find the frag as well. 17 seconds left. Can he recover the bomb? He switches back to the AK. He's going for it. He's picked it up. He's picked up the bomb. Daxon, can you have anything else for us? Do you have any more magical headshots? It will be fragged in the end to finish it off. And Isuba has tied it up now with three rounds to go in the half. And this is 50 shades of my last map. 
which was Grom first versus Golden Gate on Mirage. Pretty much exactly the same scoreline. But let's see if Isuba can turn the tide of that deja vu and pick up the half in a convincing fashion, 9-6. Smoke will go out towards top mid. Actually, no, that's a bottom mid smoke. I don't know what exactly that was for. I feel like it's a missed smoke of some sort, because that does essentially nothing. And it is a half buy here. Pistols and chest Kevlar for the T side as they're pushing through. Another TK. Rawls has taken down Barry. But this is still a lot of economic damage for Brutalis. They've taken down two of the Isuba players. That's guns down. A bomb plant as well. An AK salvaged. And Rawls will eventually fall. Coley Bryan, the last alive. And he will find the frag on the fragged. Somehow will be able to control his emotions, control his nerves, and one tap fragged from point blank range. Rough round for Isuba losing three players in the ensuing battle and giving up the bomb plant as well. But another TK for Brutalis. That could have been really bad if that TK never happened. But there is the double op setup now. Zedko holding on to one. Fragged on the other. And it is a standard A heavy default for Brutalis. The bomb going over towards Ramp and Zedko. He pushed apps. He found the first frag. And that's a great start for Isu with the first pick going the way of the CT side. As they can force Brutalis onto a pretty rough buy on the last round should they win this one. The nade goes through. It does quite a bit of damage, and Zedko finds one more. Can he find another? He's in a Molotov. He gets flashed as well, but it is Hanky G to back up his teammate. Zedko burns alive. Daxon with one more. Coley Bryan burning as well. He's going to push. He's going to burn. He barely escapes, and it will be shocking as to find the final frag. Isuba now have won the half. Can they win it 9-6? to six? Also, I'd like to mention that Remoe on Brutalis is currently sitting at 3-11. and 11. That does not seem like a player pulling his own weight. It's not like he has that many uh, flash assists either, I do believe. Actually, yeah, he only has what? Oh, he has seven. That's a decent amount. But Coley Bryant, 23 enemies flash. That is a solid amount. And he is top of the scoreboard as well. Looks like he has been doing a good chunk of work for this Brutelli squad early on. Remory, Molotov out towards triple, and Hanky G, he spotted quite a few, Shockey's in a bad position, he will get felled, the spray through the smoke will not yield any kills for Hanky G, an up connector fragged, he might just be met by Remory, indeed he will, Remory finds that kill, and now it's looking like Brutalis want to be able to get this to an 8-7 half, the retake will go on, it is last round after all. But it's not looking too good for Isuba. They still have plenty of utility on Daxon. But he does have a lot of work to do along with his teammates. His Hanky G is felled as well. The flashbang will blind Zedko. And the clock is ticking lower and lower. Zedko last alive. One versus five. He found one. Two HP would be very unlikely should he find another. And indeed it will be Remoe to find another one. Two kills for Remoe. And that will be the end of the first half with Isuba winning it 8-7. I'm going to check on Valiance versus Vitality at the minor. It is currently 13-3 of Vitality on Dust 2. They've switched over to T side. This is the deciding map of the best of three for that one. And it is looking great for the French squad. Honestly, I am surprised that uh, Vitality is doing this good against uh, Valiance. I thought Valiance would have had it 2-0. I think they're the better team. I think Vitality relies on Zaiwu way too much. But looking across the scoreboard, NBK is actually leading it for Vitality. And it is Dust 2, so definitely going to say that Vitality has the better fraggers for a map like Dust 2. They have Zaiwu. Zaiwu alone. And Zaiwu Vitality trusts, essentially. Now we wait for the second half of our beautiful game.
Isuba versus Brutalis. And it'll be interesting to see how Isuba can respond, because they did have a really good T-side against uh, Vega Squadron on cash. And by a really good T-side, I mean a really good T-side. That was a solid T-side from Isuba. Now let's see what they decide to do on pistol. Two P250s purchased. Zedco gets tossed one of those. Two smokes, two flashbangs, a couple decoys, and a kit on Coley Bryan for the CT side. Looks like they will be going for a little bit of A control early. Zedco, he's going to peek it. Nothing there so far. Remoe, under heaven, or under scaffold, whichever call out you prefer. Tanky G, he's going to peek out as well. He spots out one. He will eventually get the taps on to Barry. Coley Bryan will be somehow still alive. CT, 19 HP, and Zedko's on the hunt. Zedko's going to play it smart and wait for his teammates to push. He's looking the wrong way. I don't think he saw the bullets. And Rawls is there as well for another frag. Three versus two. The kit is down in CT. Rawls will miss his taps. Alex, the last alive, knows there's two CT. Daxon, if he peeks out now, he has a free frag. He's going to know where he is, and he will swing out, find the frag. Pistol goes the way of Isuba. One AK, one MAC-10, two MAC-10s, two AKs, and three MAC-10s is the buy for Isuba versus a force from Brutalis. This could be a very surprising round, especially Isuba. I don't think they're expecting a force. They do have three SMGs and three of the players on Brutalis have full armor. Zedko is going to lead the charge. He's going to bust out. Not going to check apps as well. Remoe finds three in apps. As I said, this could be a very, very surprising round for Isuba. And indeed, they are probably floored right now as the forced buy has yielded such good results. Both AKs have been dropped. Shockies, he's found another. Daxon's going to push his way out as well. He knows there's still one palace. Waiting for that push. The Molotov. Oh, Alex, what a shot onto Shockies. And now it is Remoe, the last alive. Or not Remoe, the last alive. Dax in the last alive. Remoe with a triple in Palace, who basically secured the round for Brutalis. And that is a brutal round to lose if you are Isuba or an Isuba fan, which, based on the chat, there are quite a few of you. That is a hard round to lose. And it looks like they're going to go hero, AK. Shockies with the honors of holding on to that. Zedco P250 armor, Deagles on Hanky G and Fragged. And that, my friends, is why you always clear your angles. Zedco probably wasn't expecting somebody there, didn't clear the angle tight enough. And he got punished for it. The smoke from B apps towards top connector goes through. And Remo, he's not going to be watching it. So Isuba could just walk right up. Shockies, he's found one. He's found another. A nice one tap onto Rawls. The hero AK has gotten two so far. There's a reason they call it the hero AK. Because whoever has that and gets those kills is indeed the hero. If he can find a couple more. Then he could be the hero of this match for Isuba. The bomb rotating back towards T-Apps as Isuba... Actually, no, they're going to go towards T-Spawn. Never mind, they're going back towards Apps. <laughs> they're just trying to make me look bad. Coley Bryan, though, he's pushed all the way up Palace. He has a lot of information. There's nobody heading over towards A. As now the hit is coming in towards B. Remo wait to defend. Fragged will entry out with the Deagle. He's good with that gun. See if he can land any heads. 
Right, well, he almost gets caught out with switching guns, as Daxon will eventually get the kill. Actually, no, it's Anki G, but not before Remo is able to find another. Alex has found one more. The hero AK is down, and it's Anki G in a one versus two. He does not have a rifle, and he's taken down to 83 HP. No utility as well. Six rounds into the Desert Eagle. He needs a couple Kyotas. And he finds one there! The last guy is on cap, but he cannot control the Deagle Spray. Oh, I thought there was going to be a little bit of BM there from Alex. But, oh man. That was so possible too. The first shot onto the MP9 was absolutely beautiful. But he didn't expect both players to be up cat. And that led to Brutalis picking up the round. Three players towards Palace, two towards Ramp. It's another four spy for Isuba. Three AKs up, two Deagles, and Fragged has no armor. Lots of utility being used. Ramp as Remo. We will rejoin his teammate on the A site. Smoke's coming through. The rotations are coming in as well. So much damage dealt through the smoke. Fragged finds one. However, he finds Coley Bryan through a wall, through, I believe, a smoke as well. And that is a good evener for Isuba. He's picked up an M4. The only problem is he still doesn't have armor. Barry's going to peek it. He's going to miss the shot. Fragged. He's still hungry for more. He gets tapped away. Somehow gets away with his life for now. I see Suba trying to hold. Four versus four. And Fragged. He drops a nade. Not expecting a second player in the smoke. He spots the leg, but he's unable to find it. Shockies has found one more, but it's traded instantly. Two versus two, but the time is ticking lower and lower. Rawls has found another. Zedko needs to come up here. He finds one. The bomb is being stuck. Zedko sprays through and he finds the frag. Zedko has come up huge for Isuba. They win the round. He loses his life, but I don't think he cares. He's gotten the lead back for the Czech and Slovakian squad. What a round for Zedko to clutch that out. The first shot was absolutely beautiful, and we see a timeout here. I'm going to say it's a tactical from Brutalis. LSV 1993, thank you for the follow. Ooh, that was a round. That was a good round. Freeze time has been canceled, so indeed it seems to be a tactical pause. And Hanky G has the MAC-10, but it is a force buy yet again from Brutalis. Brutalis playing a lot like Vega, not saving at all. Deagle, 5.7, two CZs and a P250, armor across the board and a little bit of utility. Hopefully Suba is ready for it or else we could have a repeat of that one big eco or force buy round that Brutalis had off the back of the pistol. This has been a really close match. And honestly, Brutalis has impressed me quite a bit. It's a team I had no idea what to expect from. And now, in the future, I will be expecting a lot from these guys because they have been showing a lot of promise. That nade's going to do a little bit. Hits him in the ankles. Smokes are coming out. The flank up underpass. I don't think anyone's heard it as well. No, there we go. Daxon has. He's going to jump out, though. They're not going to hold it. Shockies will be on the chair, and he will be spammed to death. The rotations are coming in. It's like a little salvaged for Brutalis, but Fragged has found one more. But one goes the way of Coley Bryant. He's picked up the MAC-10. Three versus four. Two players in apps. Two players up cat. Zedko sprays. He misses his spray and he's fallen. Daxon has to come up huge. One versus four. Finds another. Still full HP. Can he find two more? Indeed, he will not be able to. The 5-7 close range will take his head off. And again, it is that force by from Brutalis taking out any momentum from Isuba and dropping them onto an eco yet again. That has to be rough on Isuba. That's a round you think you have. You're like, ah, oh, they're going to be on eco. They're not going to be good for anything. But when you get tapped like that by a 5-7, it hurts. It hurts a lot. It hurts the mental state. 
Hopefully everything's good in their Discord and their team speak. Taps by the P250, doing a lot of damage, but not getting the kill onto Coley Bryan. He's 18 HP, almost a dead man walking. As mid is the point of contact. Another shot from Alex. And now it is down to a 5 versus 3. Will be another buy for Isuba in the following round. But things are looking rough. But Fragged, he has an idea to turn it around. He taps onto Barry, and he's picked up an AK. He's pushing it as well. He spots out Remory, Remoe, and the spray will not connect. I think Aim Punch had a little bit to do with that one. But still, there's a lot of low HP players for Brutalis. Only one player has full HP. The bomb is still down in middle. And Zedko, he's picked up the AK. He's had a few really good rounds in this game so far. Daxon as well. But the time is starting to get lower and lower. Suba has to make a move. If they find a couple of these low HP players, this is definitely doable. You always mention trying to break back against teams. And this would be a round and a half to break back on. No armor at all. And Zedko starts it off. Headshot to connect on the low HP player of Coley Bryan. Three more to find. The clock is ticking. And light utility as well for the CT or for yeah, for the CT side. Nade comes through. Nobody at firebox to find. Both players CT. And are they gonna go for the boost? No, they're not. Jackson falls. Zedko finds one. Two more to find. They're both low. He finds another. Does he have it? I don't believe he does. So close for Zedko. Yet so far. Four players taken down though. So a very successful eco round for Isuba. But that was so close. And look at the buy from Brutalis. UMP, FAMAS, M4, the saved AK and op versus full AKs and plenty of utility for Isuba. The money is terrible on both teams. Whoever wins this round will reset their opponent. But knowing Brutalis, they will go for a force yet again. Spray through the smoke. Zedko doing a little bit of damage, I believe, to Coley Bryan. He's down to about half HP. Shockey's not looking the right way. He's going to pierce snipers, and he will jump in. Breaks the vent, throws the molly, drops out. Good utility usage, and trades are coming through. Remoe taken down. Coley Bryan still holding Palace as well. Molotov will force him back and keep him at bay for now. The second Molotov as well will actually f do a couple points of damage to him. One Molotov tick for three damage, I do believe. And Rawls, he's ready for the push. He's found one more. The bomb has not even gone down yet, and it will be able to, but at the cost of Daxon's life. The flash comes out. Hanky dodges it. Both players over towards ramp as well. The bomb is down default, though, so it's not exactly planted for these T-sided players. And the op shot from Barry will have other ideas. Zedko tapping away. Cannot connect the shots. Finds one. Finds another. The defuse is on, though. And Zedko runs out of ammunition. He also was just about out of time. And Brutalis now starting to chain rounds together late in the game. 12 to 10 now for the Danish squad. Isuba, what do you have in store for us? Deagle CZs purchased up by Isuba. Half buy for the Czech Slovakian roster. Shot will go through. Nothing doing. So it is a mid play. Three up mid. Hard. Barry will throw a smoke onto the Molotov. LX will jump over and dodge any sort of player that could be there. The nade does a lot of damage to Shockies, though. He's looking for that jump peak. Looking for the head. Molotov will force him out.
And Barry has the op, and he's found one on Shockey's. One, though, for Zedko. So it's an even four versus four. Weaponry is not even... Oh, what a shot by Zedko! Who needs a gun if you can have a deagle and hit shots like that? Absolutely fantastic there from the veteran on Isuba. Alex has found Hinky G, but Zedko has opened the site up for Isuba. Daxon is going to peek up towards Cat, and he finds the shot as well. Isuba looking to break back at Brutalis. Daxon has the angle towards Cat, and he will find the shot. Coley Bryan last alive. But those two deagle shots by Zedko have just opened up a round for Isuba from what seemed like nothing. Coley Bryan probably just going to try and save. Indeed, it looks like he will be running for the hills. Running for his life. And Zedko, man of the hour right now for Isuba. He's had the potential to clutch out some rounds. Just had some unlucky shots. Some timing that didn't go right but this time he capitalizes on it opens up B site for Isuba with a couple nice one digs especially that second one on to the op Barry and mark it through the wall and Isuba has just broken the economy of Brutalis but we all know what that means Brutalis is going to force matches paused presumably from Brutalis Wow. What a round that was, though. If any time was for time for hype and chat, now would be that time. That was a beautiful play by Zedko. That one deke. Molotov towards Khan will actually miss Coley Bryan, at least for now. The nade, though, he needs burning alive, down to 27 HP. Good utility usage from Yusuba early on. But there is a three-man train towards Apps. And Zedko better keep his head up for this one. He throws a flash, and he's going to get pushed. The timing does not avail him, and he gets taken down. That's an AK salvage for Barry. Coley Bryan up con has a lot of players to find, but he will get taken down. Shockey's taken down to 10. The dink came through, but he's unable to get more. And Palace is Remo and Shockey's has the angle as well. Nice shot from Hanky G. Barry will find one on the AK, though. Hanky G is traded out, and Shockey's is down to 1 HP. Rifles for both of the CT sided players on this retake. Taps coming through as well, and Frag has found one. Fragd has found the second, and Isuba have tied it up at 12. Good show for Isuba. Buy once again for Brutalis. No head armor across the board, but that's to be expected. No need for it. An MP9 on Barry, so that could be a little bit of a blessing or a curse. It depends how he plays it and how the Maroon plays out. And if he's con with that and he gets a couple dinks, it could be detrimental to a push up towards A. But seems to be a mid-heavy default from Yasuba here early on on round number 25. Alex has gotten his way up into ladder. But Zedko is underpass, not on cast, so it's a bit of a blessing for him. This play from Shockey's up connector. As the bomb is rotating over towards A as well, any sort of information he can get is a huge bonus for Isuba. But there's two players in snipers. Alex jumps back into ladder. And Coley Bryan is in good position in Sandwich as well to stop any sort of pushes. It's a very, I'd say, kind of unorthodox hold from Brutalis. But it can work really well. Sort of a puggy hold. 
Alex is dropping back into ladder or into snipers as Shockies is going to start having to clear angles. And Remoe has found one. Alex has found another. He finds two. Coley Bryan leaving Fragged alone and Fragged only able to get one frag. And Brutalis will retain their lead. It will be another buy for Isuba. Four AKs and a Deagle on Zedko. He's been master class with it so far in this game. It's a four man towards mid. And Zedko. Fragged actually starts it off without Zedko. Could get the guy con, but it is Fragged to find that frag. It's a good start for Isuba. The Molotov will ward off Rawls as well. Barry with the nade. Nothing doing as there's nobody in con at this point. It's a nice smoke towards top con as well. The bomb is working its way over towards B and Hanky G. He's found one more. And it will not be another for Hanky G as Rawls will find him and drop out. Alex has an MP9 and he will spray. He will do some damage. But Rawls has found Daxon as well. He's picked up the op of his teammate. And now it's a four verse, uh, three versus two retake for Brutalis. Holy Brian jumping towards underpass, and both players want to go towards apartments, it seems. As Rawls, I think he was running away trying to save the Yop. He's now going to go back towards Apps. This could just be holding for exits. And indeed, it looks like it will be a hold for exits. As they're not aggressing at all. The bomb will tick down. Looks like it will explode. But Shockies might be met with a very unwelcome surprise. And indeed he will. Rawls will finish him. Looking the wrong way is Rawls. As both players exit towards Apps as well. But they're not going to peek. They're going to keep those AKs up. Two members surviving for each team. And there is another pause. This one, I don't know if it's tactical or technical. Most likely a tactical pause. Yes, definitely tactical based on the length of time it took. Hope BenQ1 was able to calm his players down, get them set for this next round. That's about all he can do in the situation. Maybe have a little bit of a strat for him to run. Smoke towards CT from Hanky G. This looks to be a fast A hit from Yusuba, switching up the pace massively. So usually they are kind of slow and methodical, but now they're going for a full on A take. Smoke's out A. Remory finds one. Daxon, though, he's on the hunt for the trade, but nobody's there. Four versus three early on for Brutalis, and the boost is coming up as well. Holy Brian peering over. Shockies is going to start working his way towards sight. He's going to spot the head, but it's a little too late. He switches over to the bomb and will attempt to get that down. But he gets spammed through the smoke. The flank from Remory, though, could be huge. But Daxon is ready for it, and he hits the head. Not the head, but he hits the body, and it's enough damage at all to get the kill. The bomb has gone down. Four versus four retake. Molotov towards fire. I believe there is one there. Yes, Shockies will get forced out of position. And Coley Bryan finds him. Three players remaining for Yusuba, and they're all grouped up. Daxon finds one. Daxon will be felled. And now it is Zedko. One versus two. He found one. Can he find another? Indeed, he will. Zedko, the clutch master for Yusuba, finds another one. And he's able to get Isuba the lead once again. The money on Brutalis is brutal. They should save here. And Isuba should be able to get themselves match point. Match paused. Timeout called again.
I'm not going to venture to see who called it, because if I had ventured to say who, if I was correct about who was calling these timeouts, then uh, Brutalis would be out of timeouts by now, so. There goes that Zedko hype indeed. He has been a wrecking ball for Yusuba. 25 and 18. But those frags that he's had have been such high impact as well. Stuff like that in the clutch. He's an absolute monster here on Mirage right now. Mac 10 for Hanky. And there is no armor to contend with, so it can farm up some economy get some nice easy kills into brutalis who have two p250s and that smoke has already been used as well so the utility that had been purchased up by brutalis is already gone it's an a stack and i think that isuba is about to figure this out very shortly as shockies leads the charge up taps from alex will do a lot of damage zedko taken down low daskin daxon able to find that frag and it will be Daxon trying to escape. He will be dropped. That's an AK able to be salvaged for Brutalis. That could help them a lot into the last round, or round number 29. Should say it's not, or 28. It's not quite last round just yet. No, this is, this is round 28. Round 29, I was right. Always trust your gut. Molotov towards Amps is the retake. I think they're going to go for it. He might just be going for exits, and Shockies is dropped. Fragged has the AK. He's going to go for something, most likely, and he will find the frag. He will be able to potentially escape. So much damage being dealt by Brutalis, though, and Zedko will fall as well, as he has a nice one dig on Nicole Bryan. But that is how you run an eco. You make Isuba have to rebuy everything into this round. And if you are Brutalis and you win this round number 29, you force Isuba onto a really rough eco for round number 30 and pretty much secure yourself overtime. Isuba do not have an op. They have a Galil. They have four AKs. They have a light amount of utility. Actually, a little bit better than Brutalis. But it's going to be rough for Brutali or for Isuba should they lose this round. Brutalis is going to be rough because they lose the game, but that's all they have left. They have this round. They have the next round. They cannot lose out. Push is coming through. Rawls looking the wrong way. Rumawi will not get checked. Nobody's checking this position in the firebox. He's just going to walk out. One kill. Can he get a second? Indeed he can. It's a missed angle clear by Isupa, and that has just given the advantage over to Brutalis. Rawls, he has an angle as well from stairs. Will actually be Rawls to find one. Coley Bryan on another. Hanky G, one versus four. He wits one, but that's all he'll find. And Brutalis have just about secured themselves over time here. The time is on their side. That is why you have to clear your angles. It's a big mistake for Isuba, and it's the mistake that will cost them potentially this map. I mean, overtime is a whole other animal, can go anywhere. Deagles, two AKs. It's a real rough buy, and it looks to be a B train as well. All five players over towards B. Shockies will spot the Molotov. He's going to peek it. He spots one. He gets the shot as well. The second shot will connect with Rawls' head. Not quite a one dig. I don't think he cares. He's found the first frag. Fragged will get taken down low. But the rotations are coming in as well. This is it a full B push here for Isuba? Shockies, he's found another. Alex has found two in return. And can he get another? Indeed he can, but Fragged will get Fragged. He gets a one trade, one for one trade. And now it is Daxon to foul in the end. And Brutalis have gotten themselves a 15th round overtime secured for Brutalis. I believe this is MR3 16K in ESCA. Uh... Last season it was MR3 16K, so I'm going to assume that nothing's changed. I didn't get an email about it, so 
as far as I know, it's still going to be 16k MR3. That means that double ops can be pretty much purchased up for the entirety of the CDs at overtime. I do like 10k, so I can actually, or, or I not me personally, but I can, I like 10k because people actually have to manage their money. And once the players decide to ready up, we shall see what will happen on overtime. Isuba will start on the T side, Brutalis on CT side. And this is indeed a close game. Both halves going 8-7. to seven. Doesn't get much closer than that. And here we are live. The double op has been purchased up by Brutalis. Alex and Barry to hold those two snipers. No ops for Isuba. It's looking they want to get some fast aggression, most likely. And Barry, he's pushed his way up cat. He gets flashed, but it fades just in time. Zedko will fall. And they're on the hunt for him as well. The nade will not connect. Sprays are coming through, and Fragged, he's found one, Bear, uh, Rawls, rather, will fall as well, Fragged, he's found two on the AK, the Opper for Isuba stepping it up on the rifle, the bomb will go down, but Daxon is low, and that will take him out of the play, Shockey's still lurking in mid as well, all three ct sided players have grouped up in market, whereas two of the three Isuba players are stuck on site, holding all the angles they can. One pushes out, Remoe finds the first. Another one for Coley Bryan, and now Shockey's on 27 HP. Finds the first, but he gets traded out. The bomb is ticking down lower and lower, but I do believe they have enough time with the kit. It's down to the wire, but it will be a defuse for Brutalis as they win the first round of overtime. Double op set up once again for Brutalis. Five AKs once again for Isuba. But this time they look to go for a smoke execute out towards A. All the players setting up for smokes. Stairs smoke, CT smoke, jungle smoke. All the smokes. Op scoped in Palace, but there's nobody there to find. The smokes are coming in. The flashes as well. And now players are rotating towards Palace. So it could be a double fake here by Isuba. They might try and make it seem like it's going to be an A hit. They delay, delay, delay. Once the players start to rotate back to B, then they pop out and hit A once again. Indeed, that seems to be the case, as there are three players rotating over, but this push by a Remoe underpass is going to yield a lot of information. And now that they hear the players coming out A once again, they do know it is in fact an A hit. The shot will not connect, but Alex has found one. Hanky G has fallen, Zedko finds Coley Bryan, and Alex has found another. He f will not get the final one, but it will be Rawls to save his life. The bomb has not gone down yet for Isuba, and it does not look like it will. Zedko tasked with a 1 versus 4. He has the bomb, but he does not have a lot of time, nor does he have a lot of any utility or a lot of space to work with. Dodges the flash, drops off Tetris. And we'll try and do some economic damage. He hits a one tap. He keeps hitting those. He will be able to do more, but it will be Barry to find him. Two rounds in, two rounds for Brutalis, and four rounds to go in overtime. Brutalis only need two more to secure the, the map and the match. Isuba need this round if they don't want to have to go down and win three in a row on their CT side. Double up setup now for Isuba. 
Only single op for Brutalis. So the tables have turned, and Daxon finds the first in connector. And that's a good start for Isuba. They needed the early pick. They needed that mana advantage, and now they have the map to work with. Oh, thank you. I didn't realize I fat-fingered X and turned it off. <laughs> Molotov will potentially burn Alex. Doesn't look like it will spread on top of the bricks. There is... I thought Frag had gone up con. He didn't. And Rawls has found one pushing apps aggressively. He's taken down low. But he still has his life in a four versus four. Zedko, he's pushing out, eh? He has an op and Frag. He's going to go in towards jungle. He and Alex has his back turned. But now, he, no, he doesn't. He turns back. And it will be a Frag for Fragged. He's going to work towards market. Rawls will come back that way. And the timing? I don't think Rawls saw him, but Coley Bryan has got that frag. Three versus three now. Two ops and a sight take. Very dangerous for Isuba, but they do have Zedko watching CT like a guardian angel. Two players and snipers. If one peeks, the other one will follow. And Rawls doesn't even need his teammate. Daxon gets destroyed. The retake is on. All three players gathered up towards CT, or not towards CT, towards jungle. So a lot of utility is flowing in as well. One, two for Shockies. And it looks like Isuba has gotten the round unless Rawls can pull something incredible out of his hat. It will be Shockies with a 3k. And he is able to secure Isuba around. And a much needed one at that. Two rounds for Isuba will secure themselves another overtime. Three will win it for Isuba, and Brutali still only need two to pull off a win. As we wait for the second half to commence, it could very well be another overtime. Indeed, I think it's another overtime on the cards. Because, in all honesty, both these teams keep going and trading and trading and trading rounds. This is one of the most even matches I've seen in a long time in advanced. And it's fun to watch. Hopefully soon the players are done with their bathroom breaks. It looks like Isub is actually using this time to discuss something, which is really smart. They're using the half time to actually go over and use it for what it's worth. Talk up holds, stuff like that. And give themselves a nice chance into the next half. And probably they're trying to win this out. They don't want to go to another overtime. The longer overtimes get, the more possibilities you have to make mistakes as you get more tired mentally. As that's really what it leads down to, is just getting mentally tired. It's like you see plays at the end of a best of five. You see players that just, they're not up to snuff anymore because they're mentally tired, they're mentally exhausted. Imagine playing a best of five. It's like that, but a little less in, a, like, multiple overtimes. It's a lot less in multiple overtimes, but the same concept still applies. Like, a second map of best of three, it's usually, like, a fresh one, too, because you take a little break, you go into the second map. It's a new map, it's not the same scenery, it's a little different, your brain gets refreshed a little bit, and you can play. But in overtime, it's just the same thing over and over again. And here we go, 3, 2, 1, live into the second half of overtime number 1. 
Zedko and Fragged have the ops, and Fragged is going to take it mid. He's going to Molotov for the smoke. It will give him a one-way. That's a great prediction by Fragged. It's a B-heavy default. Two players C, two players aggressive. Or actually, no, they're going underpass. So it might be a mid-A split. Heavy mid controls. Ramoe is holding Palace. Fragged actually gets taken down really low. 4 HP. He's going to be able to escape, but just barely a single... Like, two Molotov ticks will take him down. That's a really good start for Brutalis. Barry's going to work his way up through Khan. But Brutalis now working back towards Apps as Coley Bryan is working his way back up underpass. Rawls has ladder control though, but there's nobody in there. Fragged is playing passive, trying to keep keep alive, keep this op up, and keep it at an even 5 versus 5. Really slow play here from Brutalis. It's the bomb now going up underpass as well. Now it seems that they are going to start to commit towards B. Three players gathered up. Only one man to defend the site, but it is Zedko. Flash comes through. Nothing doing, but Zedko's on logs with an op. This is a good spot. He takes the shot. It will not connect. He reached positions, and it will be Alex to find him, predicting the spot where he will be. And Fragged is about to burn to death, but he actually gets stabbed in the back. It's a full sight take. The mid split comes in to full effect, and now it's looking dire for Isu, but they have two rounds to win to take it to overtime number two, Brutalis. They're looking really good. Hanky G last alive in CT. He's going to peek out. He will be taken down. And now it's a curtain call for Yusubo. Whatever they have left in the tank, they need to give it out. They need to put the pedal to the metal, push their way all the way through, and hope that they can get themselves two rounds here and take it to overtime number two. Double off set up yet again. Zedko and Shockies this time to hold it. Shockies had their mid spawn. Fragged will go towards A and take his spot. And oh, the cat jump is made. He drops down. And he's going to hold the angle. Waiting for a flashbang, but he peeks at the wrong time. The flash comes out and he still finds one. Can he find another? He will. Shockies has found two. One player coming up underpass, and I'm pretty sure Shockies has heard it as well. He gets the Molotov out, and that's a great start for Isuba. They needed this. They needed that momentum, and they have an early five versus three. Bragged is low, seven HP. And that nade's going to do a considerable amount of damage. Actually, no, it doesn't do as much as I thought it would. Only did nine damage to Hanky G. And Daxon will find one more under Ramoe. Two left for Brutalis. Uisuba looking like they want to take this over to second overtime. They can very well do it. They keep getting kills like this. The bomb will attempt to get planted. The spray comes through. It will go down, but he is found. Coley Bryan has to find five or just kill enough time. And it looks like he could have two here. He has one for sure. He has a second as well. He will not be able to get a third as Hanky G will find him and will get the defuse. Good round for me, Suba. Great play by Shockies to get up on Cat, finding those two frags mid. Looks like we might have another overtime indeed. Barry has the op though. Triple op set up for Isuba. And not one is going mid. It is fragged to play mid. He has the AK. He's going to spam up. And nothing will be found just yet. Daxon. Two ops on B. Daxon and Zedko. Molotov will go onto the balcony. Nobody there. Barry peering through a little hole in the smoke. Not finding anybody. And it's a very slow pace from Brutalis here. So now it looks like they're starting to fall back towards mid. The bomb is front C. So they could go for another mid split. 
Did a lot of damage on round one of this overtime on their T side. Where they just split mid. Did so much damage. Rag just smoked off. Hanky not watching it. Shockies will drop off ticket. As the bomb works its way up connector. Flash is coming out from the T's. This looks like it will be an A execute from mid. Shockies is there. He spots one. He gets will not get the frag. Thought he for sure had that shot. Frag though, he finds one. Can he find another? He will not be able to. He splits the goalposts yet again. Hanky G though, he's found one. Zedko's found another. Now it's a four versus two. The players on the T side are so far away. Barry's on cat. And Remily is coming in. But the smoke comes in. Barry misses the shot. Zedko is there. And he's found one more. Zed actually no Remily found Zedko. The bomb is diffused. Not for sure that Zedko would take Remory down. Shockies will eventually, and we're going to overtime number two. And personally, I've drank in like 40 ounces of tea today, so I will be right back. And it looks like I got back just in time as smokes are being thrown out towards A. I only missed a couple minutes, seconds of the round. So, whew, now I can focus again. Looks to be a full push out A from the T side. Remoe finds one. Fragged has been felled. Shockies. If he took a shot through the smoke there, he would have had one kill. But the bomb goes down. Rawls gets spanned through the box though. Good job by Hanky G. Another shot from Zedko will yield a kill, but Remoe's found a second in the round, and Hanky G is 1 HP. He will dodge the flash. Daxon dodges it. Actually, does not dodge it. Hanky G gets taken down, and it's Daxon in a 1 versus 2. 1 versus 3. He does quite a bit of damage, though. He's so blind. He peeks out, but it will be Remoe through the smoke. Absolutely beautiful shot. Finding Daxon. And it will be a 19th on the board for Brutalis. And we might see a reverse of our last overtime. Smoke's going over. A couple flashbangs going to be used towards mid as well. Seems to be a B fake here from Brutalis. Three players positioned over. Coley Bryan going aggressive, making a lot of noise. And Zedko, he's jumped up on the boxes, on the logs, and he found the first. But that's the fake that they wanted. Hanky G's information is only going to be a missed call. But no, I think they've heard it. They've heard the noise. It was Shockies who did. And now, the retake is on. Five versus four. Rawls will swing and will get the frag. The crouch pays off. And he finds one. Barry's about to find Daxon. And now the hold's looking more likely for Brutalis. 
Flashes are coming over the Molotovs as well. And Shockies, he's found one. Can he find another? Will not be able to find Barry. The spray comes through. Fragged is still alive. And Zedko has it, but does he have the defuse? Zedko clutches it out once again. I did not want to speak because I wanted to hear the bomb timer. And that was close. I think that's a little bit of a karmic circle for uh, when Hanky G died just about the same time he defused the bomb. <laughs> Zedko hype yet again. I feel like Zedko is trying to drag Isuba through these rounds a lot of times. He puts the team on his back. He picks them up. He drags them as far as he can, and he does what he can to give them a win. What a great play again by Zedko. Sprays through. Will not connect. The smoke's being used by Isuba trying to give themselves a little more time to figure out what Brutalis is doing. Fragged. He's making a lot of noise in jungle. There's two players there to hear him. But it is Zedko to open it up once again. Shockies gets absolutely demolished as Alex drums out of Palace. He takes a lot of damage, but he still gets that shot. Two ops position towards CT as well. Hanky G coming up underpass. And Daxon on con. Four versus four. The bomb looking to go down on the A site. It will get planted. Zedko shot will not connect, and he gets spanned through the box. A misplay by Zedko after that nice round. And it's a four versus three hold. Barry will, or actually it's Rawls will fall. Upgrade to the AK-47 for Hanky G. Remoe. He's hiding. He gets dropped, but Barry's found too. He has low HP. Both these two remaining players are and fragged. One kill, not enough! He doesn't even get the first! It will be Barry to find him. The op shot does not connect. And Brutalis take a one round lead going into CT side. And that could spell disaster for Isuba. Again, they need two to secure a third overtime. Brutalis only needing two more rounds to win. The players have readied up, and indeed they will be buying up. Let's see what we have in store. Second half of our second overtime. 22 to win, 21 to tie. Double op set up for the CT side. Fragged has picked up an op as well. He will throw a smoke towards Cat. Remoe gets smoked off Sniper, so the early smoke will land. Flashes out from Hanky G and company as they push out towards top of mid. Now Alex, he's going to go aggro. I think he misses the head. He hits the shot onto Hanky G, though. That's a good start for Brutalis. Isuba. What can they pull off now? They've already lost the first man. Nade will not connect onto anybody's chairs. There's nobody there. And Remoe, he could get himself another kill. Indeed he will. He spots him out. And he does a little bit of damage to Zedko as well. Daxon has other ideas. He's found one on the A site. He will get mollied and he's going to go through. He takes a little bit of damage, but he will find Coley Bryan in, in the interim. As he has 4 HP. Dead man walking and Zedko has fallen. This is not looking good for Isuba. 3 versus 2. Daxon, 4 HP. The bomb has not even gone down, and there's still a couple Molotovs, so they can't get the utility out, but it's still really rough. The flash comes through. Fragged will fall off. And there will be a peak. One and two for Remoe. And match point for Brutalis yet again, except this time it is the T side that Isuba have to pull these two rounds together on. One more round to win for Brutalis.
The vents have been broken. And A seems to be the point of contact, as it's a fast waterfall palace. Coley Bryant smokes himself off, actually, as he's just trying to stay alive, wait for his teammates to come in, and Barry has come to his rescue. Daxon on the hunt, though, is trying to find more. He's positioned himself towards stairs. Rawls has found another. A nade will do quite a bit in return, but still it's a five versus two. The bomb has gone down, and a whiff shot from Daxon will open up the site, essentially, for Brutalis. Zedko, though, again, trying to drag his team through. He gets flashed off, and he escapes ramp, but this is a nigh impossible. One versus three, nine HP. And it looks like Brutalis will have this one in overtime. The Molotov will secure the round for Brutalis as Barry is going to stick it. Zedko will try and get his way up and he will fall. That's the moment the bomb has been defused. Counter-terrorists have won. Brutalis has somehow taken down Isuba. A brilliant game from Brutalis. Great job by Isuba as well. A couple missed angles, a couple missed opportunities for both teams led to an overtime. And in the end, Brutalis was able to pull it through. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, thanks to Isuba for that host. And I will see, hopefully, some of you guys tomorrow. Because I will be casting again in the morning for EU. And I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Thanks for watching.